Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Cyber Expo again. I'm going to take over from here. We got two more speakers right after me, which you do not want to miss. But we wanted to start off and show you something um, and get right into the thick of it and showing you what Bookmap is. Now, um, like I told you earlier, I've been using Bookmap since the day I was introduced. I don't deal with anybody's platform. The only platform I use is the trading platform. But I don't deal with indicators. I don't deal with anything. Listen. You all know the difference between support and resistance. Well, here at Cyber Trade University, we don't believe in support and resistance. You know what we believe in? Buyers and sellers, because buyers equal support, sellers equal resistance. So if you're looking at support and resistance, it's, 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 it's irrelevant because you need those buyers to confirm that they're there. And that's what the book map is. But I'm going to go into and tell you a little bit more about what's going on. And we're going to talk about the smart money. So let's get right into the thick of it. So let's talk about uh, and get into level three. And we'll talk about level four, which, by the way, everything you see here, ladies and gentlemen, will be recorded. So please don't worry about it if you uh, missed out. So we're going to cover in this uh, in this segment the next uh, 45 minutes. I'm going to talk about navigating through the challenges of high frequency trades, which you just saw earlier. I'm going to talk about what iceberg orders are, which, by the way, they took that name from me and they're using it in the book map, which is great, which is fabulous. You know, I came up with that word over 20 years ago. I'll tell you a little bit about it, what it is. Um, you saw that trade EVK that he showed you earlier with that 200,000 share seller out there at five dollars. That's what we call an iceberg order. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to utilize time and sales. You know, seeing these orders get done. You just saw that from the book map and how to manage your risk in everyday trading. Now, with that said, everybody, um, just to let you know a little bit about Cyber Trade University. If this is your first time here or it's your 10th time here, um, I've been doing this for over 25 years. We're one of the longest running schools in today's industry. And what you're going to see what Cyber Trade University does and the reason why we're here, it's not just about teaching you. It's about being part of a team, be part of a, a you know, camaraderie, a group of successful traders. And I'm going to invite every single one of you guys to come in to my trading room and see what it's all about. Now, um, how I got into the trading business, people always ask me, like, Fausto, why, um, why do you teach? You know, wh you know, what brought you into this business? Well, uh, the reason why I'm here is because... For me to go on my own, now I can't speak for other schools. And, and I, by the way, I don't find that insulting. I think you should ask other traders this question because you know what people always ask me? They say, do you make more money teaching people or do you make more money trading? Okay, well, <laughs> that's a great question to ask somebody else. But I love, I, I'll tell you how, how I answer that. Um, to teach somebody is a lot of work, okay? But I'm in the business to teach people how to trade so I could trade with them. Because the goal is when I left my when I left being a market maker, uh, being a trader uh, in the, at the New York uh, on the floor of the exchange, um, the only way I can continue my success is to start my own firm, start start my own group. Now I didn't start a brokerage firm, but I have to train people to trade with. You can't do this by yourself. You can't be on. You, you can't be alone. You have to be part of a team. So that's the reason why I teach. I teach to train people. And if you have it in you and you're successful, you'll be part of my, my team and we'll be able to trade together and make a lot of money together. So there are two families that I have. I have my everyday family and I also have my traders family. And hopefully if you look at this great picture, you could see these people are just like you. OK, there's no, you know, uh, fancy suits, big, expensive watches, uh, you know, uh, uh, gamers, whatever it is. These are serious people that are everyday people, uh, pharmacists, pharmacy, uh, pharmaceutical people, ph uh, pharmaceutical business. Uh, uh, you got doctors, you got accountants, you have border control people, you have grandmas and grandpas in that picture. Um, you have, uh, you know, professors, uh, just everyday people, entrepreneurs, business owners. They're just like you, and hopefully you'll be one of them too. Now, I know a lot of you here, to um, you want to trade. And uh, before we get started, I'd like to do a quick poll question, just so I get to know a little bit about everybody here. So let me share this poll. Um, can everyone just tell me a little bit about you? Are you, you know, are you a stock trader, a day trader, swing trader, futures, forex? I just got a big poll up there. I'm going to do a couple of polls and kind of interact with you guys so I get to know a little bit about. And you should know a little bit about everybody that's here. Okay. So let me give you a couple of seconds to fill that out. It's funny, you hear about these polls about politics, right? Nobody calls me. Well, guess what? Now, you, now you're in a poll. 
Like, how are they getting these polls from? Well, guess what? Now you have that opportunity to be part of it. All right, so I'm going to end the poll right now. I'm going to share the results. So you could see that we have a lot of stock traders, a lot of futures traders, which is great, options, trades, and Forex. So let me explain to you a little bit about, um, about how to become a very successful trader. If you're doing something and you're not seeing progress within the first two or three months, you might need to change. Now, we know this business pays a lot of money. It's a lot of fun. But if you're not really making money at options after two, three months, you know, but you like the in, you like the business of trading, you might want to trade, try something else. Same thing with futures, same thing with Forex. Um, honestly, I'm a day trader. I'm a stock trader um, because this is the financial capital world. I, basically, that's how I was raised. But I just feel after, I, I know how to trade every different market. I just feel you have more control. It's a lot safer. And, um, you know, and it's, you hear about every day. You know, we turn on the financial stations. You don't hear them talking about, oh, the options. Oh, they see the option market today. Yeah, no, they talk about the stock market. They talk about, you know, earnings that are coming out with certain stocks. They don't say, oh, Apple's, uh, Intel's coming out earnings this afternoon. W w let's go check out the options. No, they, they talk about the earnings, this and that. So it's something that you just have a little bit more of hands-on experience. And guess what? Not that you can't make money trading those markets, but I'd be honest with you, if you want to be good in, in an industry, you should really learn how to trade stocks first and do it as a day trade because that trickles down into a swing trade, an investment, and even an option trade. So let me just change the slide here and let's get started. What do you say? All right. So why are you here? Can I just get, can everyone just put that in the chat room? Tell me, why are you here? Why is everybody here? To learn, Tom? Okay, I'll, I'll accept that. Anyone else? Carol says to make money, new info, curiosity from Matthew, learn an edge, okay. Get better at what you're doing, learn to make money, okay. Well, let me tell you what the whole motto here at Cybertree University, what I'm gonna teach you. To, get, to, get, to start making money, you first have to start, stop losing it. Our job is not to teach you how to make money. It's to teach you how to stop losing money. Everyone wants to know how to make money, right? Well, how are you going to learn how to make money if you don't know how to stop losing it first, okay? And how do you stop losing it is learning from your mistakes and most importantly, learning from other people's mistakes. That's how you become very good at a trader. So how do we go about doing that? You know, you got a lot of things that are coming up right now between the elections, you know, the, the more, coronavirus, uh, you know, all this crazy volatility that's going on. But to do that, you have to know how to follow the money. Now, you saw uh, the book map presentation prior. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how I'm going to take one step back where you were probably watching something in, I would say, maybe the eighth, ninth grade. I'm going to take a step back and do something in first grade, okay? And then hopefully that would explain everything moving forward. So um, we're going to talk about some big winners. We're going to talk about some stocks like Snapchat was doing great. Pinterest did great. There's a lot of companies that, that move really well. You saw the EVK that was up about two, 300%. How do you get these stocks? How do you find them? Well, it all starts by having the right platform and the right brokerage account. Now, listen, I'm not a broker. I'm not here to, to sell you brokerage services. They actually want your business. And actually, especially if you're an educator from Cybertrain University, because their thing is, if you're good at it, you'll be a client there forever. But you got to know how to play the game, okay? And you got to know how to keep things very, very simple. A lot of people make things more complicated than what it is. So how do we know where the buyers are? How do we know where the sellers are? It all starts off with this one window. I'm going to talk about something called NASDAQ Total View. Okay. Now, this, uh, now I'm going to do a quick poll. I'm going to call it level three. All right. And so I'm going to do a quick poll right here. Now uh, I'm going to launch it. Does anybody here have level three quotes?